morning YouTube welcome to the channel it's a little early today about 5 45 in the morning couldn't sleep figured I'd do a video on the on this build here this is uh it's a 1996 easy go txt my son and I uh bought this well we didn't buy it it was free uh we picked this up a few weeks ago up in Lubbock Texas the guy was uh given away for free and uh i saw it one morning and so uh we drove from the austin area up to lubbock about six hours each way to pick this thing up um i was really surprised he actually held it for us when i told him uh we we're flipping the golf cart so my son could make some money for his first vehicle he uh really thought that was cool so he held on to it for us so you have to forgive the uh mess in the garage here we actually picked up the other golf cart the night before we got this one. The other one is a 2007 DS. Um, and then the garage is just an absolute mess right now because shortly after we got uh, both golf carts, the uh, the Jeep decided they didn't want it to have problems. So between that and uh, also some boat stuff in here, we're trying to sell our boat. Um, everything just cram packed in here right now. Uh, I actually wanted to put the other golf cart in the backyard, but the uh, the gate's not wide enough for it to go through. So it's going to live in here until uh, we get this one out of here. Well, it'll stay in here. Uh, eventually, I may widen the gate, move the uh, projects back there. But uh, yeah, this thing was, uh, <clears throat> was supposed to be a quick flip. Uh, we we're going to get it up and running and, and throw it on uh, a marketplace. And uh, that kind of snowballed real quick as you can obviously tell. Um, move some of this junk out of the way. Been trying to clear out the garage in the midst of all this. So hopefully next time uh, I upload a video, it'll be a little cleaner in here. But uh, we uh, we started tearing into it and uh, I've got some pictures. I'll, uh, I'll put them in the video here. Uh, wish I had filmed a little bit more beforehand. Um, but this is just a, you know, basic white, uh, easy go TXT golf cart, um, tan seats, tan roof. Um, we've got a six inch, uh, lift kit on it right now. Some 23 inch, uh, wheels and tires from mods. Um, you can see the, the mod seat cover on this right here. If I can, uh, get that turned around. That's still the original seat there. Uh, this thing had a lot of rust on it. So you can see the aluminum battery tray there. Get that up there. And uh, so as we were tearing it down, uh, just the way the frame is, is going to be impossible for us to clean it all out. Uh, got it professionally sandblasted. Um, and there'll be some pictures in the video here. Um, and it just kind of, you know, took on a life of its own. So uh, just about everything on this is being replaced. Um, the only things that are going to be factory, uh, the chassis, uh, which you can see here, we, uh, once we sandblasted it, we put two coats of primer and, uh, two or three coats of paint on it. Uh, the rear end is still factory. Uh, the steering is factory, uh, and the pedals. Um, other than that, just about everything is getting replaced. New top, uh, recovering the seats. Um, we've got a body kit for it. Uh, I'll put that in the next video. I think it's gonna be pretty cool. Um. I've got a lithium battery coming in. Uh, that is going to be a um, an EnjoyBot battery. Um, I've watched several reviews on them. Uh, a lot of people are really pleased with them. I've watched a couple teardown videos. The construction looks pretty good. Um, no idea, uh, you know, how good the cells are. Um, but they've been around for a while now, um, and a lot of uh, positive feedback. Um, I do see a lot of people online, you know, trash talking them. Saying they're junk, they're from China. They're obviously from China. Very few batteries are uh, here from the US. Um, I'm okay with that. Um, but uh, as far as people with experience, um, I haven't seen anybody with actual experience uh, really talking about the downside of them uh, or having any issues or anything like that. So we're gonna give it a shot. Um, we'll put it in here. I actually had some lead acid batteries uh, planned for this. Um, unfortunately, our golf cart down at the beach uh, was having some problems um, so those were sacrificed to go down there um, and I figured since we got to get rid of them let's just uh, 
throw lithium in there. Uh, the price is almost, uh, it's right on par with the, uh, the lead acid. I paid around 900 bucks for lead acid, uh, 1100 for the lithium. Um, so, you know, add in the price of a charger where uh, it's about 300 bucks more. Uh, but we're saving a few hundred pounds and uh, we'll get a lot more distance out of it. Uh, maintenance free for the most part. So pretty happy there. Uh, that should be in later this week. Um, but yeah, that's that's the, the current project. Once we get this out of here, get the garage cleaned up a bit more. Once the Jeep's working, <laughs> we'll get that. Uh, get some more uh, space in here. And uh, we'll start on the DS there. I have no idea what we're gonna do with the DS. It is a literally a pile of parts. Uh, the gal we bought it from wanted to do an AC conversion on it. Uh, he lost interest. Uh, we picked it up for about 500 bucks. Um, it looks like we've got all the parts minus the batteries. So uh, I think the first order of that will be just to make sure that it runs. Um, then we'll decide where we're gonna go from there. Uh, but I'm hoping that we have the, uh, the easy go here up and running about the next week. I think it's gonna look really good with the uh, the lift of tires and wheels and uh, the new body kit we're gonna put on there. Um, this thing should look pretty sharp and uh, uh, should make decent profit off of it. Um, and uh, then we'll get started on the next project. So like I said, welcome to the channel. Uh, got a lot of projects already lined up. I figured might as well film them uh, and get some feedback from the community.